Now we are going to see the classification of second order partial differential equation. So consider a second order partial differential equation in a function u with independent variables x and y. That is u is a function of x and y. Uh, that is a into dou square u by dou x square plus b into dou square u by dou x dou y plus c into dou square u by dou y square plus function of x y u dou u by dou x dou u by dou y. Here we are going to classify this partial differential equation uh, by using the second derivatives only. So these are the second derivatives. Uh, no need to use first derivatives and independent variables. That's why I have taken everything as a function. Function of x, y independent variable, dependent variable, first derivative, everything inside the function. Now we have to find the coefficients of this second order derivative that is a, b, c and calculate b square minus 4ac. If the value of b square minus 4ac is less than 0, that is negative, the given equation is said to be elliptic. If the value of b square minus 4ac equal to 0, then the given equation is said to be parabolic. If it is greater than 0 or positive, then the given equation is said to be hyperbolic. So we need the coefficients of second derivatives only. That's enough. So no need to worry about the remaining terms. And please note that the coefficient of dou square u by dou x square is a dou x dou y mixed partial derivative. That is b and uh, dou square u by dou y square coefficient is c. So make a note of it. Now we are going to see few problems. So let us take the first problem. Classify 4ux plus 4uxy plus uyy plus 2ux minus uy equal to 0. <coughs> so this is the second order partial differential equation. This is uxx. What is meant by uxx? That this is another form of dou square u by dou x square. Right? And the ux that is dou u by dou x. You know that very well. So 4uxx plus 4uxy plus uyy plus 2ux minus uy equal to 0. We have to classify this. So as I said earlier, we have to find the coefficients of this second derivative only. So what are the second derivative? uxx, uxy and uyy. These are the second derivatives. So no need to worry about the remaining terms. Now the coefficient of uxx is a. So in this problem, a equal to 4. The coefficient of xy is b. So b is 4. The coefficient of uyy is 1. c equal to 1. We have to calculate b square minus 4ac equal to b square 4 square minus 4. a is 4 and c is 1. Simplify this. 16 minus 16 and you get 0. That is b square minus 4ac value is 0. So I have given three results. If b square minus 4ac is less than 0, it is elliptic. b square minus 4ac equal to 0, parabolic. b square minus 4ac greater than 0, it is hyperbolic. Now we got 0. So therefore, given PDE is parabolic. So I have to find the coefficients of the second derivatives only. No need to worry about these terms. And make sure that we have taken the correct coefficients A, B, C. If A, B, C, if you have done mistakes in A, B, C, surely we will not get the correct classification. Let us see the next problem. Classify dou square u by dou x square equal to dou square u by dou y square. Now we have to bring 
all the terms to the left hand side first before solving it bring everything to the left hand side do square u by do x square minus do square u by do y square equal to c now we have two terms both the terms are second derivative so what is the coefficients a a equal to 1 and b b is coefficient of do square u by do x do y there is no term right so b equal to 0 and c coefficients of do square u by do y square is minus 1 now calculate b square minus 4ac that is 0 minus 4 a and c and which is equal to 4 so b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 it is positive so therefore given pde is hyperbolic that's all if it is 0 parabolic if it is less than 0 elliptic since it is greater than 0, we can say the given partial differential equation is hyperbolic. Let us see another problem. Third one. Classify x square u x x plus 2 x y u x y plus 1 plus y square into u y y equal to 0. Now for this problem, a coefficient of u x x equal to x square b the coefficient of u x y that is 2 x y and c the coefficient of u y y that is 1 plus y square now we have to calculate b square minus 4 a c b square 4 x square y square minus 4 a that is x square and c 1 plus y square now Simplifying 4x square y square minus 4x square minus 4x square y square. First term and third terms gets cancelled. You will get minus 4x square. Since we do not know the value of x and y, we cannot say it is 0, it is greater than 0, it is less than 0. So we have few cases. Suppose if x equal to 0 then b square minus 4ac becomes 0 hence it is parabolic the given equation is parabolic case 2 if x is less than 0 or x is greater than 0 in both the cases x square is positive hence we have b square minus 4ac is negative x square is positive and minus 4 so totally you get negative hence the equation is elliptic if the value of x and y is not mentioned in the question you have to write all the possible cases classify u x x minus y power 4 u y y equal to 2 y cube u y okay. now this is a first derivative so no need to worry about this u x x the coefficient of u x x that is a a equal to 1 and the b coefficient of u x y it is not given in the question so it is equal to 0 and the coefficient of u y y is c that is minus y power 4 now calculate b square minus 4 a c b square 0 minus 4 a is 1 and c is minus y power 4 equal to 4 y power 4 now b square minus 4 a c equal to 4 y power 4 we don't know the value of y so if again two cases as we did in the previous one uh, if y equal to 0 b square minus 4ac value is 0 then the given equation is parabolic suppose if y less than 0 or y greater than 0 b square minus 4ac 
is positive because y power 4 is positive so the given equation is hyperbolic okay let us see the next column Classified x into u x x plus y into u y y plus x y u x plus y square u y equal to z. So this is a second order partial differential equation and. In this problem, suppose if they give x less than 0 and y greater than 0. So, x less than 0, the value of x and y is given in the question itself. Let us see the problem. Uh, the a value, the coefficient of u x x x, b value, there is no coefficient of u x y, so 0 and c equal to y. Right? This is the first derivative, first derivative, no need to worry about this. Now, b square minus 4ac, that is 0 minus 4ac, equal to minus 4xy. b square minus 4ac equal to minus 4xy. If, suppose, xy values are not mentioned in the question, we have to write all the cases. If x equal to 0, what is the case? If y equal to 0, if x equal to 0, what is the case? If y equal to 0, what is the case? If x is positive, y is negative, what is the case? If x is negative, y is positive, what is the case? If both negative, what is the case? If both positive, what it is? So we have to write all the cases. But it is given that x is great, less than 0 and y is greater than 0. So, x is less than 0 and y is greater than 0. So, minus positive number, x is less than 0, it is negative and y is greater than 0, it is positive. So, totally we get only positive result. So, which is equal is greater than 0 because it is given that x less than 0, negative, y greater than 0, positive, negative, Positive, negative, positive. So totally we get positive value. Therefore, the given PDE is hyperbolic. So note that if X and Y is not mentioned in the question, we have to write all the cases, possible cases. Since it is mentioned, I have taken this and we found that the given partial differential equation is hyperbolic. Thank you. Thank you.